Bali Island Pagoda south of Yangon is just one of the many tourist attractions in Myanmar. There are also many monasteries in the area, but not everyone has time to appreciate such priceless cultural treasures. Jim Taylor has lived in the country since 2004 and is married to a Burmese woman whom he met in the United States. Together they've dedicated their lives to fighting poverty in Myanmar. Taylor and his team developed this water pump. The simple irrigation system has greatly increased farm yields in this village. Farmer Shen Keen can now plant cucumbers and harvest his crops three times a year, something previously unthinkable. Well, these look pretty good. Same kind, yeah. So, yeah, these look good, yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a good size. Okay, very good. Sure. Yeah. Gaoni. 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 Yeah, it tastes very good. Shane yeah. Keen yeah. is proud. So good he bought it. his first water pump in 2005 for just a few dollars. Word soon spread about the new technology. We have a picture in our office of when we first brought, we actually didn't make the pumps. The very first month we were here, we imported about 15 from India. And we took them to a village north of Yangon and we set them down, we brought them into the village and, and farmers gathered around them and they started tinkering with them, they taking apart. And I knew we had something because they were really interested in it. This is how Burmese people have gotten their water for centuries. Women did most of the back-breaking labour, but now such toil is the exception in this village. This man and his family now have access to water just outside their door. The pump's construction is simple and inexpensive, but it's also built to last. Jim Taylor is a social entrepreneur. His products are meant to better the lives of farmers. He doesn't give them away for free, but his company Proximity Designs does help farmers for whom a few dollars are a virtual fortune, arrange affordable financing. Come, so he's storing it now. Well, the social part is that we're using, we're, we're products that help people uh, improve their incomes and has social good because people are able to then send their children to school, eat better and be more prosperous in their village. The idea is to help people escape poverty without making them dependent on handouts. This farmer tells us that his family now has enough to eat. With its population of 4 million, Yangon is a world away from the problems of farmers in the countryside. Since Yangon has opened up, more and more Burmese exiles are returning. So that's having, causing Taylor employs many Burmese designers and product developers in his socially conscious business. Some of them had lucrative jobs abroad and took pay cuts to work here. These people would rather design water filters than golf bags or luxury cars. The big challenge is to create affordable products. Getting to find solutions that actually save people a lot of time and increase their income is, uh, I think it's, I think it's very rewarding work. Proximity employs more than 300 people. Several dozen work in Yangon. Others sell and explain the products to farmers. So we're looking at changing to some off-the-shelf O-rings imported from Thailand and we're trying to figure out which ones are the best fit for our design and for our um, the hardness that we want for the particular o-ring. This is where products are tested. How much water can be pumped onto fields by foot without overexertion? Which collection system can withstand the tropical climate? In a typical season, a farmer will treadle about a, 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 a hundred thousand times. So we try to simulate that before it goes into the field, so we're confident that the pump won't break. The rainy season. For a few weeks, there will be no shortage of water. It's lunchtime in a typical Burmese restaurant. 
A meal for five people costs around $10. Taylor's wife is currently in the US developing contacts. Harvard University, for example, is carrying out studies to help proximity, while Stanford is sending designers. There wasn't a sense of optimism, there was more of a sense of fatalism. Now people are optimistic about the future, young people see an opportunity to get education, there is jobs, there's, you know, working with, having more connections internationally. One quarter of all Burmese live below the poverty line, something Taylor aims to change. Since the political opening in 2011, Myanmar has developed by leaps and bounds, and now entrepreneurs are using their new freedoms to help others get on board the new prosperity.